Shortages of accommodation in the town have seen some home seekers falling victim to land barons and the consequent sprouting of illegal settlements. This is one of the many challenges confronting the newly elected councillors. Will they be up to the task? Our correspondent, Star Chisewe Gwanza, gives us more. Chitungwiza, a town 20 kilometers southeast of Harare, is home to more than 400,000 people. But the town doesn't quite feel like home for Nyatime residents. Nyatime is one of the many settlements that have sprouted in the town. Residents in the settlement have no title deeds to their properties. They fear they might be evicted any minute. <laughs> Long back 2007, within two months, Chitunguza, like most urban centers, has an ever growing housing backlog. Land barons have taken advantage of this and are parceling out illegal stands to desperate home seekers. Thousands have fallen victim. Mune ishe akanyanyi sa ema len barons. Dufunga mura ku ongoro rapana ere ino nze enya tsime. Ere enya tsime ini ma iligo setla za akawandi sisa mapanzusa. Wana waitu ruwa mari. Ne ema len barons mapanzusa. Endri kumu kwa chuna hakuna kanavi ni kwekuta anzi munu. Acha zo kwa nisa hakunga achi isiru wa suwa kanavi ni wota. Mapanzusa. Nuti munu we cancel in line cancel. Vano tikuti munu unga uchizu italese a septic tank and it. You need to have a stand in you know, Vira pa 500 square meters and it. But on a rogo pio, kuma kuma kumoga, karika 200 square meters. Kwa kuti, hakuna kana even i delivery chazi. Kwa kuna kanzo yekoko. So ipa pura ya urumende, yange ya pindira and it. Pa maishu zi emaleni baro nzi ya. Pa etuwa maresti, ene wa nu maleni baro nzi ya. Alifa nukumbu etuwa ene example, wa nuko nifi kituwa. Shortage of housing is one of the biggest challenges confronting the recently elected local leadership. Newly elected Mayor Love Momaiko believes council is up to the task. Yeah, as a new council, we have a dynamic team, uh, a team that is, 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 is full of energy and they are ready to go. And one of the things that we also intend to do is to change um, you know, the issue of culture. The way we do things here at Chitungiza Municipality. Service delivery in the town has generally been poor. Dilapidated infrastructure, sewer bus, poor road network are common features in this town. Councillor Mayiko and his team have their way cut out. Indeed, there have been um, some deliberate efforts in the past where a joint committee had been set up to deal with the legacy issue of uh, Nyatime. Uh, the five, the six farms, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, the six farms. Um, yeah, I know uh, they'd reach some for a certain level towards the fine, towards uh, coming up with a, a solution to make sure that those that paid or the owners or those who hold the papers um, of the stands in Yatsim they do get what belongs or what rightfully belongs to them. The folk of Chitunguza town have been subjected to poor service delivery. But the mayor is optimistic looking at his fourth year term of dealing with the recurring challenges that have been in Chitunguza town. Now the question is, is he going to deliver? Whether or not he's going to deliver, only time will reveal. I'm Stachisiwe Gwaza for ZTN Prime.